Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I'd take you along and do a little bit of food prep with me. I'm not doing very much but I just thought I'd take you along to join me. I've already started it but I've realised I haven't done a what I eat in a day for a few days and I haven't got anything to prep for Monday. So this is what I'm doing. Um, as I say there isn't very much to it but I will take you along. So at the moment I've just got my little mushroom station and I'm cooking off uh, three punnets of mushrooms. I think they're 200 grams per punnet so I'm kind of in the process. So I'm washing off just because I'm frying straight away. Normally I wouldn't wash them because they go slimy but because I'm frying them straight away it doesn't bother me. So I'm washing them off. You can see all the filth in there. They were quite dirty mushrooms <laughs> so figured it was easier. Chopping them up into small pieces and then chucking them in and frying them off. I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce and I'm planning if they'll fit to store them in one of these big pot noodle things. I used to love these noodles, they were amazing. And this one, honestly, I had yesterday because I was just craving them, but I didn't realise it was a big one. So yeah, I'm going to store them in there and yeah, we'll go from there. So I've finished washing my mushrooms and you can see how disgusting that water is it's absolutely filthy so i'm going to drain that Ugh, get that wash out in a minute that's the rest of the mushrooms to go into the pan and i basically fry until they're dry that's like my motto so i don't use any oil when i wash them if i'm prepping them so i'm just going to pop in a little bit of soy sauce just so you can see how much i'm doing Give that a nice stir. And yeah, the smell that this gives off is amazing. So I fry that basically until it stops bubbling and it becomes more syrupy. And then I will pop it in my pot and then I'll do the next batch. Whilst those are cooking, I'm just doing a tester because I haven't had overnight oats in so long. So I've put 50 grams of oats with 150 grams of almond milk and some billionaire shortbread syrup in here. Stirred it all up, put a lid on, pop that in the fridge and I'll try that in the morning. I'm only doing one batch of this because I haven't had it with almond milk and syrup before. And it's been years since I even had overnight oats. So I'll see how that is in the morning and I'll probably top it, like fill the tub with fruit in the morning. So yeah, hopefully it turns out okay. So that is my full tub of mushrooms all cooked off and ready to go. So I'm going to pop the lid on that. I know it's got holes in it, but that doesn't really bother me. The smell of mushrooms doesn't really bother me. So I'm going to pop that in the fridge and then I think I'm going to work on some peppers and onions next. So I've done two onions in total with that and I've squirted in some butter flavour one calorie fry light spray. I'm just going to cook those off and then I will do the peppers.
peppers are in and I'm just gonna give them a stir and I'm just gonna cook those down. So I waited until the onions were fairly well cooked. They're quite translucent. Um, I'm probably gonna give this another 10, 15 minutes just to soften everything up and then I'll pop them in a bowl and that'll be my veggies pretty much prepped. I have also taken all of my grapes off the stems in the meantime. I'm just gonna add some Cajun smoky seasoning to this because I love the stuff. Um, well, apparently I added the rest of it, so yeah. <laughs> but it's my kitchen, so I will do as I please in terms of spicing things up. So that's just to give it a little bit of flavor sort of whilst it's sitting. I'll mix this into other stuff throughout the week. I might eat it as it is, I'm not entirely sure, but it kind of gives it that fajita sort of flavour and that's what I like, so yeah. Don't come for me for the state of my fridge, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I ha actually have for the week. So I've got three bags of this baby leaf salad. Aside from what I'm cooking, I also have some black grapes, some strawberries, another pallet of strawberries down here. The apples are mostly for my kids because I don't really eat them. I've got a little bit of cucumber left, not much. Some raw peppers in case I fancy them and some onions left over in case I need to cook those. So I'll pop the salad back in there. Um, I always have this giant thing of water just because I prefer mine fridge cold and our water dispenser bit broke on the fridge so we're not able to use that anymore i've got some lighter squirty cream to go with my strawberries if i want them i've got some bacon for my husband i've got some salsa which actually surprises me on the calories because it's only 14 calories per 40 gram serving which i thought was pretty good I've got some of these lighter laughing cows, some Jordan, um, sorry, my fridge is telling me off now, some skinny food co strawberry jam. Um, I've got my yogurts in the back, which are my cholesterol yogurts. I'm only really showing you the stuff that I'm going to be having. So I've got my Pepsi Max. I have got a bottle of wine or some rosé Prosecco that a friend bought for me for looking after the cats. You can see I've got my oats up here, I've got my almond milk, I've got my flora lighter up here, I have some eggs and some cheese, that's mainly for my children, um, as well as the pepperamis that you can see hiding in there. The ghee, and these are like fats from when I was doing keto. Oh, I forgot I had corned beef in there. That was from my keto days as well, <laughs> but obviously I've stopped that now. And in my fridge door, you can see I've got some sauces. I don't actually use any of these apart from the lighter than light mayonnaise and my soy sauce, obviously my almond milk, normal milk for my kids. And then I've got some salted butter up here hiding away and some just some flavorings in this little bit here. So yeah, that's a tour of my messy fridge and messy side everything's messy in this house don't judge me i am a parent of two children with disabilities it's not easy so i do with what i can so yeah that's what's in my fridge and my peppers and onions i think are pretty much done now so i'm going to pop those into a bowl let them cool on the side and then i'll chuck them in the fridge i forgot to go through my freezer so i also have mixed veggies in my freezer as well as some steam fresh packets. That's what I eat out of the freezer. The rest of it really is for my husband and my children. Obviously quite stuffed. Um, got some ice, which we actually need more of. Fish fingers for my kids. I've got these Linda McCartney sausages. I've got these chicken char grills that I eat all the time. And these Chica chicken strips. I think that's everything in there for me. I've got a ribeye hiding away from my keto days, which is now going to be my husband's. And do I have anything in the bottom that I actually eat? Oh, I've got some wholemeal bread and some loose bits, which need throwing in the bin, which I'll do in a minute. But I've got some wholemeal bread in there, which I might have occasionally. So, yeah. And that is my onions and peppers all ready to go. So I'm going to leave those to cool off alongside my mushrooms in my pseudo noodle pot. I'm going to enjoy my lovely pins. 
and that is me for today so excuse my makeup it has run because cooking onions does that to me sorry about the background noise my husband's watching youtube um but yeah that's everything from me so i hope you like the video like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you in the next one bye guys